Welcome to Money News on Remo TV. I am Anibaba Bekeloloa. On national news, gunmen in the Heli House of Monday attacked the Nigeria Correctional Service, Uweri, the Imo State Capital, and the State Police Command Headquarters. Also on Monday, gunmen killed two persons and burnt operational vehicles of the Nigerian Army when they attacked the military base at Umo Riji of the Uweri Nature Expressway. The headquarters of the NCU said 1,844 inmates fled the facility in Uweri during the attack. Amid increasing spate of attacks and security formations in the southeast, the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, described the attacks in Imo State as terrorism and ordered security agencies to apprehend the culprits. On his part, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamo, blamed the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network for the attacks. But EPUB, in its reaction, denied involvement in the attack, saying its men were in the bush chasing hetmen. Still on national news, worried by their inability to cope with the challenges of providing adequate services to the citizenry, transport operators across the country have urged the federal government to urgently disburse the 10 billion COVID-19 palliative fund to their members to prevent imminent collapse of the sector. This is as the 10 billion Naira COVID-19 bailout as intervention for fund to operators in the Nigeria's auto industry, which is expected to rescue alien companies and firms to reposition the sector seems to be shrouded in controversy. Findings reveal that a huge fund here marked as bailouts for the transport operators is causing ripples as some operators are alleging that they were sidelined in the disbursement. It was learned that among the operators who have been asked to submit documents for verification were the interstate luxury bus operators under the ages of the Public Transport Owners of Nigeria Association, PTONA. On international news, the death toll from a ferry accident in Bangladesh at the weekend rose to at least 34 after six more bodies were retrieved, officials said Tuesday. The ferry packed with around 50 passengers heading home from the central city of Nara Yanganj ahead of an impending coronavirus lockdown had collided with a larger cargo vessel late on Sunday. Authorities called off a search and rescue mission on Monday after salvaging the ship from the heavily polluted Shitalakshia River and recovering 22 bodies. But under pressure from relatives of people still missing, rescuers late Monday resumed operations with helicopters to score the murky waters for any more bodies. Based on the relatives' account, at least two people are still missing, local official Mustin Bila told AFP. Under Bangladesh's seven-day lockdown in response to surging COVID cases, all domestic travel services were suspended on Monday and shops and malls were shut. On sports news, Aminat Idris, who is said to be eight months pregnant, won the first gold for Team Lagos at the ongoing National Sports Festival in Edo State. Idris, who put up an aspiring outing, won the gold in the mixed Pumse category in Taekwondo alongside her male counterpart, Aruwara Rakib. She also won silver in the female Team Pumse category and an individual bronze in the same category. This makes her one of the leading medalists at the festival. Similarly, in the 2018 edition of the competition, Amina Tedris won a bronze medal in the individual female. In Taekwondo Tempe, she also won silver alongside Arobora Rakib. In other events at Edu 2020, Team Lagos won silver medal in the female Team 6 side cricket, while the male counterpart won a bronze medal. Edo won the gold medal of the 6 side cricket, even at the festival. Lastly, on entertainment news, Popular celebrity couple, Banky W and Adesso Aitomi have opened up on how they lost this first set of twins. This revelation was made during the Easter Sunday service at the Waterbrook Church where Banky W is a pastor. The couple bear the challenges they faced in the process of trying to have children with the congregation. The couple who welcomed their son, Zah, in January explained that Hadassua was initially pregnant with twins and they had to be evacuated because their heart stopped beating after a series of scans and tests. That is all we have for Money News and Remo TV. You can follow us on every of our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also check us on our website at www.remotv.com.ng. Good morning.